how-to video will show you how to perform the pre-operational checks, including calibration of the flow sensor and a breathing circuit tightness test. You will also learn how to perform calibration of the O2 sensor and zero calibration of the CO2 sensor. This educational video does not replace the device instructions for use. Be sure to read the ventilator operator's manual as well as instructions for use that accompany the humidifier or other devices, breathing circuits, and other consumables. Pay particular attention to important safety and hygiene information. Always run the preoperational checks before connecting a new patient to the ventilator and after connecting a new breathing circuit or any new component. The whole procedure takes approximately five minutes. Before starting with the preoperational checks, ensure that the ventilator is connected to both primary power and an oxygen supply. Ensure you are using the correct flow sensor for the patient. Verify that the breathing circuit is assembled correctly. Turn on the ventilator. The ventilator runs a self-test. When that is complete, select the correct patient group. To access tests and calibration functions, touch Pre-op check or the system button in the standby window. Then select the tests and calibration window. A green check mark indicates the component is calibrated and ready, while a red X indicates the last calibration was unsuccessful. A box with no marks indicates the test or calibration has not been performed. If the CO2 sensor is not enabled, the box will be grayed out. Perform a tightness test and flow sensor calibration each time you have connected a new breathing circuit or component, including a flow sensor. The tightness test checks for leakage in the patient breathing circuit. To perform the tightness test, select the desired operation, then follow the instructions from the ventilator. Please note that wearing a glove is recommended. When the disconnect patient message appears, Disconnect the test lung. When the message, Tighten patient system is displayed, block the opening. After completing the tightness test, the message, Reconnect breathing system is displayed. Reconnect the breathing system. When the test has been completed successfully, a check mark will appear. To calibrate the flow sensor, select the desired operation then follow the instructions from the ventilator. When the disconnect patient message appears, disconnect the test lung. When the message turn the flow sensor appears, attach the adapter and flip the flow sensor. Wait, and then flip the flow sensor back to its starting position. Finally, Disconnect the adapter from the flow sensor. When calibration has been completed successfully, a green check mark will appear. If you are using a coaxial breathing circuit, perform the tightness test and flow sensor calibration before connecting an HME filter. Once the tightness test and the flow sensor calibration have been completed, Place an HME filter between the patient and the flow sensor. As CO2 sensors are already calibrated at the factory, you only need to zero calibrate the airway adapters. Connect the sensor to the ventilator and check if CO2 monitoring is enabled. Wait approximately 90 seconds for the device to warm up. If you haven't done so already, connect the airway adapter to the CO2 sensor and keep these components away from all sources of CO2 and the exhaust port of the expiratory valve. Do not move the CO2 sensor during zero calibration. When zero calibration is complete, make sure there is a green check mark 
in the CO2 sensor checkbox. Calibration of the oxygen sensor is only needed after installing a new oxygen sensor or when a related alarm occurs. The calibration procedure can either be performed when the ventilator is in standby or during active ventilation. To perform calibration with 100% oxygen, set the oxygen control to 22% or higher. The gas source has to be connected. When calibration is complete, make sure there is a green check mark in the O2 sensor checkbox. Once you have completed the pre operational checks, the ventilator is ready for use. You can set up the ventilator for a particular patient and start ventilation. Or you can turn off the ventilator and keep it stored away, ready for use. All the test results of the pre operational checks will remain stored in the memory even when the ventilator is turned off. Make sure the setup that you calibrated is not changed or altered while the ventilator is in storage. To turn off the ventilator, press and hold the power standby key for about three seconds.